I'm really hoping it's recalling Yeah, 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 yeah I did something Let's, let's, let's book it low Sound effect, uh, that's pretty medium Voice high <laughs> Voice high Vibration So we can see Can see we're gonna play with the controller guys Anyway Hello ladies and gentlemen Welcome to speed dating Oh, ghosts! Another dating scene, because let's be honest, we are forever lonely and alone. <laughs> we have no friends. <laughs> and we go. I'm connecting to a vibrator. And let's do this. I hope he records, otherwise I'll be very upset. Hello there! Hello there! Yes, I am here for my speed dating. I'm still alive, still, but um, I hope I, you can. You are not that picky. <laughs> I hope you can accept me. My name is Fran. Run this little operation. Nice to meet you, Fran. So, you are a nice one. Yes, I am. You get all kinds of ghosts here. Yes. Nice ones, sad ones, a few spooky customers. I guess only be a ghost. And. Uh, I thought it would be quite opposite because there's more ghosts than uh, ali people alive, but uh, okay. Uh, it has been pretty difficult. Uh, I like being alone. <laughs> it has been pretty difficult. It has? Uh, yeah, with the COVID and shit, the isolation, that stuff. The economy collapsed, the war. The war. Anyway, uh, how are you doing? Wonderful! Oh, it wonderful? Okay. <laughs> then let's get started. <laughs> okay, we got three rooms set up. Okay, each with our own super fun teams. Yeah, you pick one and sit at the table. Then, uh, okay, makes sense. Uh, then what? Another ghost will also sign up. Uh, sit across from you. Okay, you have a few minutes. A few? Okay. To get to know them. Then a bell rings and you switch seats. Okay, you can hear it from somewhere. Okay. Just like that! I know. You'll meet three ghosts. Over two rounds. At the end. You get to choose your favorite. If they liked you too, you go on a date. How's all that sound? Ah, well, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, can't wait. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. It'll be an experience at least. First thing first, though. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm using controller, by the way. I'm... Uh, why there is the mouse there? I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's go. Room of Pals! Choose your room! Room of Pirates! Room of Black! So... From what I guess, Room of Black is the creepy one. Room of Pals is the... Uh, and then, I don't actually understand anything. Let's, follow, let's start with the uh, Pals. Let's start with the... Uh, you know... Let's ease it up. Room of Pals. The Room of Pals. It looks like the basement of an old church. I actually not sure how a basement of an old church looks like. To be honest, how does it should look like? Like I can actually tell you, it looks like a fucking graveyard. <laughs> no, uh, here in Italy, back in the days, it was common to have. Um, back in the days, I mean, like uh, several uh, century ago, it was common to have like uh, graveyards inside the church, not outside. So you you, you saw those one weird ass crypt. Uh, uh, in the movie and shit. Yeah, it was like, oh, that is not underground. You can actually enter it. So it's like, they're usually uh, under a church. <laughs> so this was the uh, purpose of a church, you know. It's not outside, you know, with the, all the dirt and ground. It was actually inside and... Uh, yeah, you, you got what I mean. Faded Alignum Leum Floors. Spare walls with the old religious spring frame and a peach-colored wood. On one side is a large open kitchen, all refrigerator donated by the congregation Hump and Drip. This must be where the cabbage smell is coming from. Oh yeah, the cabbage. You leave the cabbage? Go 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 and check on the cabbage on the fridge. Come on, I'll wait, I'll be waiting. Come on, go, go, check the cabbage. I know you have a dead cabbage in your fridge. <laughs> Rows of long tables are set out for the next spaghetti supper. Mm -hmm. They work well enough for today's speed dating. Hello? Oh, it's blue! The bell rings and a ghost appears. Oh, damn. Sup? Sup? Uh, I wonder how you died, but I'm worried to ask. I'm Riley. You're pretty hot for a ghost. I'm pretty alive to be a ghost, you should probably ask. 
Uh, <laughs> slow down there, buddy! <laughs> you're, not, you're not so bad yourself. Uh, thanks. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Isn't it cool we stayed the age we died? Oh, I guess. Makes dying young a little better. Oh. Uh, why are you <laughs> why are you speed dating? Uh, you're not even gonna ask my name? Uh, how, uh, how you died then? I, I think it's a d undelicate. So why are you speed dating? Ah, uh, you're probably thinking, what is hunk of man doing here? I feel ya. I don't feel ya at all. Even hunks need a little help sometimes. It's been a while since uh, I bit it. <laughs> but you haven't found the one, you know? Oh, I tried mixers. Personal ads? Yeah, <laughs> you tried in the shit of grinder. <laughs> Beefy boy, six nice goals for some one on one. Nothing doing. Ah, so I figured I'd give this a go. It's in fun. Ah, oh, how do you have. <laughs> so you are into sports? How do you end up a ghost? Oh, I think it's a. I should. I, th I feel like I should avoid this questioning. How do you know a ghost? Are you into sports? How do you know? I don't know. There's a fucking rugby ball in your fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, how? Shouldn't the, uh, the, uh, the, the head should be robust enough to not get fucking plunged by a... Whatever, you know, I'm not gonna... Uh, lucky guess? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I played football in college. Too much football, it turned out. Uh, how about you? You into sports? Um, not really, to be honest. Ah, uh, I'll be level with you. Sports are a big part of who I am. I'm not like a one note guy. I'm just about sports. But I sure I sure like him. So it's a deal breaker for me. So why do you do you like them? Like where do I even start? It's like Oh and there we go. And the bell rings and he disappeared. Oh no, I see it there. Oh snap! Half time. Guess we call timeout. Let's keep it going, the second half. I'm quite confident there will not be a second half, buddy! Oh no, okay, never mind. Not a ghost appears. Okay. Cough. Cough to you. Hello, sunshine. The ghost takes a long drag off their cigarette. The smoke rises up through their hollow frame, pumping out holes in their back. Uh, <laughs> they let you smoke here? <laughs> I didn't ask. Well, <laughs> won't make. Much difference now. Oh, I guess I agree with that. My name is Vera. That or the lady in smoke. The lady in smoke. That's what. The ghost hunters call me. The ghost hunters call me. Okay. Ghost hunters. Uh, ghost hunters. Living weirdos trying to prove we exist. Hunter sounds dramatic. Give him uh, too much credit. Buster then. <laughs> ghost Buster. <laughs> Four years now. A haunted Vegas. Vegas? Vegas? Huh. The glitter-sized condominiums on the strip. Obnoxious houses behind gates. I wake up. Rich fools at night. Sh shouting grace mode. Oh, right. Jangling pen <laughs> penises. <laughs> Jangling penises. I'm like, that, that, that would freak me out. <laughs> Jangling pe pennies. <laughs> Willing pay the price. Jang like that. Oh, uh, why do you? That's pretty cool. Thanks, huh? Spend a lot of time working on it. I like when they choke on the smoke, choke themselves awake, then they see me floating at the float of the bed, looking ready for a funeral. It works, except when when the smoke alarm goes off. Oh, oh, snap! I guess it happens, and it is not as scary. Uh, did you? <laughs> So you're famous? <laughs> you should disconnect alarm. <laughs> and, uh, I, actually, I actually thought about it. Well, you can uh, add smoke, you cannot disconnect alarm. Oh, so guess. <laughs> so you're famous? Did you die in Vegas? So you're famous? I guess. I'm world gets around. I'm a regular topic. On media radio. Not that it matters. I like being famous. Oh. When you're alive. Oh. <laughs> I w I wish I was in books. Oh, what was your life like? My life was Vegas. I was an executive assistant. Oh no! To this big shell casino owner. It was a bag in the boom? In the boom? What was the bag in the boom? Everyone moved in post war. By the early 50s. 
was a wonderland. <coughs> My boss was a real piece of work. Folding bad suits. Always eating peanuts. Always eating peanuts? Isn't that a healthy? Dousing back Rye. He was obsessed with money. But in any way he could. And never let it go. No one liked me. Uh, sorry, no one liked him. But plenty feared him. It was my job to keep his sins quiet. Anyway, that's me. I'm bringing you to this thing. Oh, uh, well, uh, can we talk more about you? <laughs> oh, I, I was lonely, I guess. <laughs> I was lonely. I hear ya. I'm about as lonely as a lost shoe. Just as useless, too. You'll get used to it. Oh. <laughs> I hope you're right. <laughs> I hope you're right. <laughs> also, you never get used to it. I I'm, I actually thought... <laughs> I think you are right, then. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised you're only... You're not useless. We can be lonely together. <laughs> you're not useless. Thanks, hon. Sometimes I'm not sure. Any kind do matters. Got that feeling even in life. Can't seem to make it go away. Oh. Ah, well. well, goodbye, Vera. It's been uh, uh, some kind of a pleasure and uh, some kind of a um, dramatic turn, I guess. I guess that's the bell. Well, to pick this up later. See ya. Goodbye. And under good surprise. Ah, uh, hey, hey. Why are you wearing a mask and why do you look like? A count continent. <laughs> uh, whoa! Hey! I'm Stephanie! But you can call me Steph. Everybody does. Uh... Hi, Steph. Hey! Oh gosh, I'm nervous. I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> me either! <laughs> we are together to this, Stephanie! Oh, that's so wonderful! <laughs> I spent like an hour putting my face on this. On this morning? Yo, you spend an hour to put that thing on this morning? Okay. Uh, okay, I'm, <laughs> you look nice. Uh, what brings you? <laughs> I've been single for a while. Ah, first it was great. Did what I wanted to do. Taught myself some Japanese. Oh, how, how you went? Konnichiwa and shit like that? Play my character every day without fail? Allow myself time to get to know the real me. After a while, the sun gets to you. Oh my god. <laughs> they always get to you, man! <laughs> they always get to you. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I was I was expecting dating, not like an <laughs> internal, internal existential crisis. <laughs> oh, great. My cat only says so much. Ah, uh, 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 I know what you mean. Tell me about your cat. <laughs> Clarence. After the angel. There's, okay. But it's more of a demon. Ah, God. Especially around food. Uh, uh, if you have a cat, if you are a cat owner, you understand this statement. Some of, some of the cats are fucking horrible. <laughs> you know how most cats have this pleasant meow? Almost meow. Clarence wails and whines. <laughs> That's not a fucking cat. <laughs> okay, I thought you what? <laughs> oh, Raspy, like he's dying or dead. <laughs> You're probably thinking I'm so weird. Ah, we all little weird. Ah, I try not to. I try not to judge. This is what I actually will say. I try not to judge, but uh, I'm gonna be nice. So ah, we are all little weird. It's supposed to be being normal. There's nothing worse than meeting someone. Oh, uh, there, sorry. There's nothing worse than meeting someone. Okay. And running out of things to say after like ten minutes. That's why I'm here. There's no time to get bored. Oh, I guess you're right on it. It's quite speedy. If you do, it's almost impressive. Tell me about playing clarinet. Tell me about learning Japanese. I thought I'd pick it up easily. Ah, since it's so far, so far removed from English. Since it's so far removed from English. Uh, you're not English. You're not uh, an Eng Anglos. Uh, it's such an art to draw into cartas. Yeah, I agree with that. But there are so many. Oh, you. 
Actually, yeah, there. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Just uh, learn the kanji, <laughs> then you're done. <laughs> First, you learn hiragana. Those are the basic cards for sounds. Then katakana, yeah. Dude, there is even a game. It's, uh, it's a headache. I try also to learn it myself. I can understand it, or like, um, I can as as give an assumption of the meaning of a sentence and give a good guess without really understanding the sentence. Yeah, it's like, a, imagine someone telling you a note of a music and I tell you the meaning of that note, something like that. <clears throat> For words taken from other languages. By the time I learned all those, I thought I, had, I was getting pretty good. Then came, <laughs> then came kanji. <laughs> so, okay, I'm sorry. I skipped some step, okay? Uh, I, I went just to four for kanji, I remember it. It's quite a hard. Then uh, there is the, there's another step forward, right? If I'm not wrong. There are thousands of Genji character. It's overwhelming. Yeah, the same goes for Chinese, by the way. They say that in order to you to be a uh, a good level of Chinese, you have to learn like over five thousand characters to have like a. I want to say average, like like uh, they say between a thousand to two thousand, you are like a. Uh, uh, Elementary level, then 3,000, 4,000 is like middle to high school, 5,000 is like, uh, call, well, university? More or less? Or over 5,000. Like, you can write more or less an essay on the sort of. Uh, my case, I am on an elementary level. I still can understand people, I can, I basically can, uh, <laughs> I can barat, bar baract, so you say it? I can trade, basically. It's not that hard. It's like, oh, I want this and that. You don't say what it is. It's like, oh, it's not like you say, oh, I want to buy the hat. You just say, I want that thing there. <laughs> and you're good to go. <laughs> you don't really need to alert the name of the object. Ah, you have an eternity. You can always visit, uh, you can always visit Japan. You, can, you have an eternity. Uh, you can always visit Japan. I think so. I'd love to! I will help to immerse like that. It's just hard to find the money. For a ghost? Do you actually need money for a ghost to travel? How about the clarinet? Oh. You could sneak on a plane, maybe? Haha! <laughs> That's pretty much impossible. How will I get through security? And to have a side <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it's just like a stickler for rules. <laughs> and like, you know your dad, right? Uh, it's easy when you're a ghost, I guess. If only. Sometimes I wish I was a ghost. Like, not dead. That would be terrible. But a ghost! Oh, laugh ever ephemeral and timeless. What are you then? Buddy? You're not a ghost? What the fuck are you then? I thought it was a speak ghost for ghost. Ghost! Though we were meeting ghosts, not random stuff. Uh. Okay, but uh, it is pretty great. I feel like I'm. I'm gonna freak. Does she know she's dead? Uh, it is pretty great. What do you mean? You you you, you died. You you are dead. Are you trying to me me? Because that is super not cool. I I'm gonna tell a friend. She will ban you. Uh. <laughs> I, uh, you're, you're a girl, Steph. Wait, what? What do you mean? No, wait! The bell can't be ringing yet! I don't understand! We, we are dead? Did I die? Am I a ghost? Uh, sorry, Steph, I thought you knew. I had the feeling. I had the feeling she didn't know she was dead. Uh, that's rough. The second round begins. What's up? What's up? I'm Riley again. Oh, so there is a second round. Okay, I'm, okay, never mind. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh, what should we talk about now? Uh, sport, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Got anything dating tips? I have no idea. <laughs> sport, obviously, I guess. So, like, uh, this may surprise you, but people always ask about the football in my head. I consider <laughs> I consider it as a badge of honor, but also a reminder. You can push, your, uh, you can push yourself too hard, it was everything you work for. 
Fight too many hits to that. Uh, rough. Wamo! Sport ghosts at your service. It will tell you that all ghouls have limits. Ah, well, that's a good advice, I guess. Right? I like is he supposed to make sense of stuff. It works super screwed. Need to fix something? Draw up a play. You won't get anywhere without a plan. So what do sports say about death? What do you know? What do you have planned for us? What do you have planned for us? What do you do sports say about death then? That is like an early retirement. You have your legacy. Uh, I think that makes uh, Oh yes, I guess. As, so see if you are like a sportman uh, sportsmanship wise, I guess. It makes sense, I mean. You, even if you're that you will remember as one of the top most successful in that specific sport, I guess. Your accomplishment right there on paper, and in people's memories. You're no longer playing the game, but hopefully you change it. You still do plenty of good, just from the sidelines. I want to still, uh, I want to still do, uh, how, how do you do good? I want to still do good. How do you do good? What do you mean by that? I don't understand this. Uh, how do you do good? You'll see. Oh, um, I see. Goodbye, Riley. Oh, so, like, I was thinking. It might be fun to see a game together. No teams playing our state rivals. It's been a while since I've tried playing on them. Oh, that's... Ah, uh, I'll like that then. Righteous! Just tap me after they wrap up here. I pick you up in my ghost car. Is a convertible. I don't really care. Oh, <laughs> Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Even when I'm dead, I know how to live. <laughs> Goodbye, Riley. Hey, ya! Uh... Jesus. Hello again, sunshine. Good to see you back around. Cough. You already talk. We already talk a bit. About how I lived. The Vegas life. My crew casino bus. Like to tell you about how I died. Um. Are you sure? Are you sure? Where it takes a long drag out of oh, her cigarette. I think a lot of people would like to avoid wanting to talk about how they died. I think most people... Will. If you're a ghost, I don't know. If you're dead, would you like to talk about if you, how you died? Cough. I'm always sure. It's speed dating. Might as well lay my cards out. One day in 1954, the casino rang me up. A voice. The boss sons. Say they were out of clean shirts. Okay. It was maybe 6 a.m. The sun wasn't up yet. I robbed my girl off at a, off at a sitter and rushed over to the casino. Uh, you, you had a daughter? Where did you go? You had a daughter? She all did. It was a single mom. Oh, rough. In the 50s. Oh, wow. Rough. In case you're doubting, why stay at the job? Oh. Oh, rough. The casino front doors were locked. The doors were never locked. Security let me in and led me to the blackjack tables. Where my boss was waiting. Dead on the floor. Blood. Soaking to the burgundy carpet. Uh, where was his son? How awful. <laughs> How awful. <laughs> uh, where was his son? Standing next to his pops. He smiled when he saw me. You will make this... <laughs> you will make this go away! <laughs> he said. I nodded. Two guys, bigger than the horses, step up behind me. They loaded my dead boss into the trunk of a black car. One of them drove. The other made sure to sit with me in the back seat. Did you... <laughs> Do you know this man? <laughs> Do you like the son? No. That makes sense. When I say son, you probably picture a kid. 20 or so? This guy was going on 45. Oh wow. Right there. He never his dad's thirst for power, but not his loyalty. I keep thinking about where this put me when we got to the desert. Would they bury me too? But they didn't. I watch as my boss, friend. Friend to the major, mayor, a builder, a legend, got what he deserved a hole in the sand. Uh, did you confront the son? Uh, your girl was at the sitter? And she stayed there. I wasn't about to pick her up. At least not until things cooled down. So, how did you die? I went home alone. 
All the doors and windows, turned off all the lights, and waited. Nothing happened. Until I nodded off, broke out to an intense seat, took a deep breath, sucking hot black smoke. My lungs felt like they were burning. I couldn't see. They burned my home down. After making sure I was inside, I'm... I'm... What about your kid? So very sorry, Vera. Yeah, well... Now you know why. I'm deleting smoke. The bell rings. Sorry this got so grim. After this is all over, maybe we can grab a drink and try not to let the past haunt us. Yeah, for just an hour. Be will be a pleasure. Hey. So wait. We're actually totally 100% dead. Yes, Steph. Uh, yes. As in the afterlife? The afterlife? Uh, if you can call it that. I still feel alive. Just like dissociated. Like the world is going on without me. It's a familiar feeling. I felt a lot when I was alive too. How long have you been? <laughs> what was your life like? How long have you been dead? I guess since 2004. So you know you're dead, right? <laughs> so you know you're dead, right? That's the last year I remember. Oh, where have you been then? <laughs> you missed a lot. Where, where have you been then? I mean, somewhere. It's hard to explain. Sort of like being lost. You keep circling around, coming back to the place you started. Except inside your own head. That's old ghost over there. Fair, I think her name is. She said that she's seen this before. It's a kind of limbo. So you talk to Vera and uh, Riley. Holy shit. <laughs> Spirits come into terms with death. But death they refuse to accept. Guess this means I've accepted it. All this, make <laughs> All this makes my head hurt. Oh, what's with your mask? How did you die? Tell me about your life then. It was difficult. Except not really. Most of your life was pretty good. Good. Good parents? Good parents for sure. There was really only one thing wrong with them. They were cooler than me. Oh, damn. When I was born, they were in their early 20s. They were into all their weird music. Artsy movies about ballads, ghoul witches, and fantastic planets. They were just creepy. But I have even smoked alternative cigarettes. Meanwhile, I was the dog with the puzzles. Ah, oh, there's nothing wrong with being. Obsessed with puzzle. It gives a little uh, relaxing moment. Learning language was fun. Uh, yeah, what's wrong with it? I learned bloody fucking English. <laughs> My parents were excited when I joined a band. They thought it would help me make <laughs> help me make friends. Mostly, I just like to practice alone in my room. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I wish my parents had been cool. Didn't you get lonely? <laughs> I wish my parents had been cool. No, you don't. I should I shouldn't be too hard on them. They were by my side during the worst of it. The worst what? Not everyone's so lucky. The worst of what? It's hard to talk about. I had cancer. Oh fuck me. <laughs> I'm like the worst of what? I had cancer. I was like Why then you thought you were like not dead? A brain tumor. Why thought you thought you were not dead? <laughs> not many people survived that shit. How many people actually survive a brain tumor? Out of curiosity. Not much, right? <laughs> it was bad. I fucking hell. That was a week after my 19th birthday. Oh wow, you died very young. <laughs> That's rough. I started getting headaches and feeling confused about things. Things will just look wrong. Out of place. It's hard to describe. Uh. Uh. What was the treatment like? Hell, they shed. How long they, did they give you? They gave me a few months. A treatment that turned into a year. They said it was very aggressive. So they had to be aggressive. Eventually, the symptoms subsidized. Seemed like they zapped it. Told me I was progression free. I'm not, I don't know what it means. I feel like it means something. I really don't know what it means. 
it. Whatever that means, I was allowed to go back to school. But I didn't. I retreated to my room after so much time facing death. Had a lot of trouble facing people. Funny, huh? Now I'm facing death and people. Huh. That's rough, Steph. There's the bell. I guess it's back out into the world now. Have a lot to figure out. It was nice to meet you. Yes? Indeed. Thanks for helping me talk this out. Goodbye, Steph. Steph leaves the room. If you hurry, you could catch up to her. See if she'd like to talk some more. Then again, a day with a ghost like Steph might not be the most exciting. She's not a football hunk. No, she's staying famous lady in smoke. Oof! Oof, 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 oof. So, who am I gonna choose? Um. Hmm. To be honest, I'll choose Vera. Because I'm more interested in, uh, you know, about her story rather than uh, dating, to be honest. Because I'm a, yeah, kind of the friendly neighborhood ghost that have to do be like H. <laughs> Let's pick Vera then. You meet Vera outside. Hey yo! She's smoking the dog. Took you long enough? Not really, though. I'm just kidding around. So, what do you want to do? The word is ours. Vera stops talking. Oh, she What? She seemed distracted all of a sudden. You heard that? Mm. What were you going to say? I didn't hear anything. I... I heard a voice. There it is, again! I... My controller vibrated. I don't know what it was actually. I actually didn't hear anything. There it is, again! A voice! You hear it this time? Mm, are you okay? I'm... Honestly, not sure. I hear a second voice. This one sounds familiar. Like the way it sounds. If someone recorded me. Me, but not me. Hmm. Where are the voices coming from? The voices are in my head. <laughs> in my head! Okay, I'm gonna stop singing that song. <laughs> Zami, salami, salami, salami. <laughs> But also far away. Jesus Christ, the voice is calling out to me. He's saying, Vera, are you there? We are trying to reach you, Vera! Dead on the 5th, November 1954. Oh, wow. Uh, is, your, is your daughter calling for you, maybe? Doing some weird um, <laughs> ghost whisperer? That's what, what they call it. Psychic? And the, then the other voices. One sounds so familiar. He says, Where are you, Mum? <laughs> oh no, my daughter? I. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to go. I have to find her. Uh, can I come with you? Yeah, I think you'd better. I'm not sure what I'm hearing. It sounds like my daughter, but, well, you know what I've done. It might be nice to have some backup. Sure, Vera, let's go. Let's go! You follow Vera to the source of the voices in her head. A small bungalow on quiet street on the other side of town. It's a square hedge around the front yard. A tiny sign in the window. <laughs> Spaggy readings! Spaggy readings! Of course they have the things that beam out of it. Uh, not the future! Know yourself! Oh, damn. Let's go inside. Inside the house is dark, except for a dim room towards the back, lit by trembling candles. Two people are seated at the table, facing each other. Okay. One is a young woman dressed in black with a multiple piercing. She appears to be the psychic and playing the part with the witchy flair. The second woman sits across from her. This woman is in her 70s, wearing wire-frame glasses a long black dress. She looks like a retired librarian. That's my daughter. Is this a science? Well, I don't know what is a science. It sure looks that way. It sure looks that way. What happens now? I'm not sure. I feel a presence. Vera's daughter opens her eyes. Mom, are you there? Your mother is here! She may not be able to speak, but she's listening. Mum? 
I sense two presences. Two? Yes. One is unknown to me. The psyche breathes in that deeply. You may now ask. Your mother a question. Perhaps she will respond. Mom? It's Jane. I... I need... I need to know what happened. How you really died. The police. The papers. They all said it was an accident. But I found your letters. Mom! What did they do to you? I can't. I can't tell her. What happened? It's too hard. Can you say something? I need her to know. I'm out there. I'm just not sure I can do it. Tell Jane how her ma really died. Tell her it was an accident. Remain silent. <sighs> hmm. What should we do, guys? Tell her the truth. The plaque repeats what you said word for word. The letter will true. Every word. I'm sorry I left you. I did it. So, so you could live. Jane begins to cry. You didn't leave me. They took you from me. I was only a little girl. I'm so sorry, Mom. I miss you so much. I miss you too. There's no secrets amongst that. I had to tell her, even though it may be against her will, uh, Vera, but it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the Palm Room chapter, I guess. Hope you enjoyed. It was quite an interesting journey. And uh, hope to see you again very, very soon. The next one. Good lovely bye.